we say this for Jim? I'll be finished with the brother. Wish him his day. Asking protection from whatever the Shayateen and Shaytan.
Like the Prophet to be under the merciful uh, appearances, manifestations of Allah's most beautiful and merciful names. Don't leave us to the hands of our egos. If left to what we did, we should meet our Lord in another way, according to his difficult names of punishment and constriction, and ask him to be saved. How would he become in Kyarabi? How would he be Ridakami Sakatikam or be more popular in a Kubatikam? How would he become in? And ask him. O oh my Lord, asking refuge to you from you, from asking refuge to your forgiveness from your anger, asking refuge from your pleasure to your, from your displeasure, <coughs> asking shelter with you from you. I said, if I was to give people, to mankind, human beings in sand, what they deserve, there wouldn't be one thing left alive on the face of the earth. But he makes us to taste a little bit of what we did in the hope that we will come to our senses and try to straighten our way, this is general for all mankind, for ourselves individually and for the Ummati Muhammad, which is everyone. Zahra fasad fi bahram al-bahr. Fasad. What's fasad? Everything we're experiencing now. Fasad. Civil wars and riots and COVIDs and lies and deep states and everything. No one can come to the bottom of it. All of it fasad. Where it came from? You have to look the root. There's some puppet master behind the scenes. No, it has to be a real root. The real root has to be with our Lord. And the situation is appearing through his divine asma wa sifat, names and attributes and actions according to what we did, all of us, all people. Look at history. Malana Sheikh used to say, study history. Look what's been the doings of people. Saying we don't want war, we don't want police. Look at what people did. How you can say that? If left uncontrolled, some people will eat other people. We're asking to be with good ones, with good intentioned people. Not left in the hands of uh, people that they Surrender to their ego and to shaitan. We may be like that, but we're asking to be with those who didn't. Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu, taqo Allah, taqo Allah, wa kuru ma'a sadiqeen, the Quran says. O you who believe, fear Allah, be aware of Allah, try to correct yourself, try to be with true ones. If you can't be a true one, at least be with one. We're intending to be with them. Shaun Akshaban said, if you come together in a meeting like this on my name, it's a coming together with true one, Saad the Queen. First one, Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Sadiq, in the presence of Prophet Sallallahu standing at the name, second of two. And through his line comes Nakshaban the Tariqah. So we're asking to escape to the society of true ones, the council of true ones, say Diwan, the gathering, assemblies of true ones. Even the high, uh, the high uh, assembly, we're not suitable for that. We can't carry it. We can't carry those lights. 
like to look at the sun in the afternoon, my new hobby. There was a door I was reading in his Boazim, an old book, Mahan Sheikh Nazim used to like it and recommend it. I don't know if anyone's still reading it. There was a dua on Thursday asking of Yasmai, Semani Atim of two Dalakarni Shems. Oh my Lord, I'm asking to you by the eight names written on the face of the sun, the horn of the sun, literally. I saw that too, I said, what are the eight <coughs> names written on the horn of the sun? What's the horn of the sun also? So I began as a scientist, one of Shaykh Nathan said, I was a famous researcher once. No, I'm not even the beginning of it, but being sarcastic, saying, at least research one thing. I went and I began to look at the sun, wherever I was. And I was looking in your backyard at the cemetery there. And our balcony faces the setting sun. I'm going for a walk in the middle of the day. I'm the only one out walking in the sun every morning. What are those eight names? Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Getting only sunburn. Sayyidina Muhammad. Asking to know how, how we can be able to be admitted to heavenly assemblies where heavenly realities are shown. What I'm trying to say, even looking at the sun, you can't carry the lights of the sun. It's so bright, especially here in Texas, you look up blinding. It's only late afternoon, a little bit you can look. What about for carrying divine light, heavenly light? He needs a istidad, a preparation. And these meetings, these sahabat to come together in the name of Shavonak Shaban and Moana Sheikh Nazim and Moana Sheikh Hashem and Grand Sheikh under the hand of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and all, all, Allah's beautiful tajalli is a way slowly, slowly they begin to build up the uh, power of our hearts for carrying as a uh, weightlifter who begins very lightweight yeah, and begins to add more Add more to to carry heavy weight. Uh, training, trying to carry light weights, and then heavier and heavier. And Mulana Sheikh, he made a uh, riyada, spiritual exercise for carrying. Where's that exercise? Oh, say. You want an exercise? I can give you an exercise. You can't do it for even two minutes. <laughs> What's that exercise I can't do for two minutes? You want to know? Yeah. Okay. Smart one. I send you someone to make you angry. <laughs> See how long you last in that arena. Two minutes? I don't think so. Two seconds. One second. Quickly exploding. You didn't care. It means... Even the the bar without the weight on it, you can't carry. Asking to carry. Everyone is in there who has the hand of the sheikh. Already they're signed up for the course. No need to go to Michigan or to Cyprus or to Damascus or to some special place. No need. They have online college now. You do online. Tarikat is online without uh, electronics. Take by it, you're enrolled. Where is my classroom? You're in it. What? You're in it. What's my program? Look and see what comes to you. That's your program. That's your program. Nadina in the Islam. We went with Mulana Sheikh Nazim one time when he was touring in the States in Mulana Sheikh Hashem. We went in Massachusetts. There was the headquarters for the uh, 
Sufi Order of the West people. Here, Elijah Khan. Did you have his son? Related? Here, Elijah Khan. He was already old, an old man. And they sat together in front of the two groups trying to blend each other. One was the hippies, one was. time of Maghreb, the sun was going down, it's a country, it's an old Quaker retreat. Quakers, they didn't marry, so they ran out of Quakers after a while. <laughs> the place became empty, and now uh, the Sufi order was using it. The sun is going down, and it's time to pray. Maharaj wants to pray. Other powers, they weren't keeping praying. So their sheikh said to them, It's the time to pray. One of Sheikh Nadim, he wants to pray the sundown prayer, Margaret. So all the Muslims go to one side, all the rest of you stand to that side. We separated and we, we prayed behind the line of Sheikh, and the others watched. And they finished. And Malana Sheikh, here Belay Khan, he prayed with Malana Sheikh. Afterwards, Mala Sheikh turned and addressed everyone. He said, you didn't understand what your Sheikh was trying to tell you. He said, all Muslims on one side, all the rest over here. He said, Muslim is only a technical term, means in surrender to the will of the Almighty. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Arab, Hak ta'ala. And he said, everything is in surrender to the will of Allah. He pointed, it was in the countryside, trees are in surrender, clouds are in surrender, sun and moon is in surrender, mountains in the mountains, oh. mountains are in surrender, plants, Animals, everything is in surrender to the will of Allah. Only some foolish people think they're not in surrender to the will of Allah. He means to say, always we're in a presence. No matter what your beliefs, everyone say or think, I am. I am. There's nothing else to be, to be. And can you think, I am, where am I? I'm in a presence. I'm present with something. I'm somewhere. I'm in the presence of something. Well, Sheikh surprised me one time. He pointed to the sun and said, where is it? Forty years later, I'm still looking up to try and figure out where it is. And that presence is relating to the beautiful names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Either we're in the presence of Rahman, or Rahim, or Malik, or Kudu, different, or under a Presence, something descending. Kabid al Basit. happy and expanded. Kabid tight and contracted. Uh, happy, depressed, different. Mood. Look to your mood, if you want to say it that way. Try to find a simple way to express it. What kind of mood I'm in? Happy, be in the mood, in the, the jelly of a basket. Smiling, sun shining, COVID, constriction, under fear, everyone under fear now from the virus, constricted. Why that 
COVID is coming on people. Names of mercy, names of toughness. If a toughness name is showing, what happened? What did we do to bring this toughness coming? Well, the Quran says, I think in several places, when something happens on account of what you did, the deeds that you sent forward, One used to say to us, one of the principles, he said, ask forgiveness, always say, it's my fault, I did it. I landed in a predicament, they did this to me, or so on. No, don't say that. There is no one. Sheikh Hashem said, think everyone is a robot. No one has any existence. You're the only one in your, in your Lord's presence came to his house angry one time for something that the people were doing. He was laughing, waiting for me. But I said to him, you see, if I stepped on your tail, what would happen? He said, I have a tail? Yes, you don't see it, but you have a tail. I stepped on it. And you're learning now. He said, nothing's happening. Come back to your real self. Think that you're alone in your Lord's presence and he's showing you on your screen what he wants you to see. To go back to its root. It's an exercise. It's a kind of exercise. What you're experiencing, try to take it back to its root. Sheikh Hashem gave a very clear exercise how to do. I'm always asking him a meditation. I gave you one. Why are you not doing it? Say, I'm alone in my Lord's divine presence. With people or away from people. Showing me what he wants to show. Might be you're alone looking out at the beauty of the sunset or the clouds. Look, my Lord is showing me from his azimut and greatness. If someone coming to give you trouble, oh my Lord, I did something causing this. Ask forgiveness. Allah takes you out from problems. No one else, else can take you out except him. Be thankful. Favors are not lost. Be humbled. Allah turns difficulties into favors. Make yourself your Allah. Allah takes you out from problems. It's your own fault. Don't blame the other one. There is no other one. Don't think there's another one. One. Trying to. In Islam, we have Tawheed. Oneness. Asking to make manyness into oneness. To take it back to one. But we're trying to <coughs> take it down into many. We're trying to find the answer. Like a jigsaw puzzle. Take the box, throw the pieces on the floor. That's the picture, you can't tell. Put it together into one, then you see what it is. Asking to make many into one, while you're away from him. He says to Sheikh Nazim, oh Sheikh, you want to go back to America and teach everyone what you taught us? Now that we became proficient. He said, teach yourself first. Teach yourself that you're in Allah's mercy oceans. Why you're coming out? Always you're coming out on the outside. Why you're out? Go in. Oh, my Lord. Your mercy. We're in endless need of your mercy. We're in endless need of your forgiveness and we need endless help to get up. Keep us, guide us to the hand of your true ones and make us to be with them get up to see things as they really are. Prophet used to pray, Ya Rabbi Arina Ashia Kamahia. Oh my Lord, let me see things as they really are. Let me see things as they really are. You show uh, sometimes something might look very good and 
it's no good, it's bad. But it looks good. No, let me see it as it really is. Sometimes you're showing something no good, but really it's good. Or let's say you might not like a thing, but it's good for you. That is to see what's good. Granted, what's the ayat? You talk a lot, or is it for come? He looks for the ayat. Show it on your conscience, on your meter, on your domain. Oh, our Lord, grant us to be on the way of that holy ayat, to think about it. You think about the ayats of holy Quran, there's doors to get in, windows to get in, tunnels to get in, reach into the understand something about Tawheed. Allah's oneness. Tawheed, the main job of Muslims. I was reading, who put it? This maybe the main job to try to reach to Tawheed, really Tawheed. You can't say I got it from reading. You can know about it from reading from imitating ulama and sharia, but you can't know it really unless you find it. To try and, as Sheikh Hashem said, see yourself alone in your Lord's divinely presence. And he's showing you, showing you what he wants to, you to see. Why we're not thinking it like that? If we begin to take steps towards that, he has to bring us more till we know it for ourselves. I show you the signs outside yourself, you can read about it, and then in yourselves, till you know it for sure. This is our job, to try to do Tawheed, to make one. It's everyone's mission. To know that in the presence of the divine names and attributes, till you know who you are. Under what name you're appearing, or you, or you, or you, or you, or me. You're an appearance of the name of a name. Which name? Oh my Lord. Bless my soul. Oh my Lord, who are you that I'm appearing in your name? Who I'm representing. You saw a policeman. How to keep us from police. He says, You pull your car, he comes up. Can I see your license? I say, Who are you? I don't know. Where's your badge? I don't know. Who are you representing that you pulled me over? I forgot. What is it? Who are you? Even when you go to the airport, who are you? I don't know. Where are you going? I don't know. <laughs> Get 
out. Our job to reach to that oneness, to know who we are. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. is reaching along with Sayyid who knows his limit keeps his limit who is unable to keep his limit realizes he can't go past his limit even if he wants to <laughs> so you're coming to the ceiling hey what I ask you to get up how are you going to get up you don't know where you're going go back down till you know where you're going then you can get up Party. I shall do in love.